today I'm going to be sharing with you four different hairstyles that would be perfect for prom. So this is the first hairstyle I'm going to be teaching you how to do. You're going to need some little clear hair ties just like that for it. And um, so starting out, if you want all of your hair back and don't want to wear any bangs down by your face, you're going to pull this top portion of your hair back and tie it off. Um, if you do want bangs down, just section the hair just behind the bangs. And then we're just going to tie it off in the back with our little clear elastics and then pull it tight. You're also going to need a little clip. So now what we're going to do is clip the ponytail portion up and away. Then we're going to create another half pony just below that, about an inch and a half thick, um, so just above the ears, and we're going to smooth the sides out and then tie that off um, in the back as well. It's a really simple hairstyle, you just kind of have to make sure you get the steps right. So then we're going to pull and release the clip out from the top section. We're going to split the top ponytail in half like so. And then we're going to pull the second ponytail up and clip that out of the way. Then we're going to take another section of hair. So now we're going just above the ears, pulling that back and also combining the split ponytail into this ponytail and then tying it off like so. Then we're releasing the top ponytail portion from the clip like that and then we're going to repeat those steps all the way down. So again we're splitting this ponytail in half, lifting the other ponytail that's below it up and clipping it out of the way. Then we're going to take another inch and a half section of hair and we're going to combine that into the split half ponytail and tie it off. So essentially you're just creating small little ponytails down the hair, just combining the hair each time. Then we release that clip, split that ponytail in half again, clip the bottom one up, and then tie the rest of the hair into this ponytail, release the clip, and now you're just going to be splitting the ponytail and tying it underneath the last ponytail. So we're not adding hair anymore because we've combined all of the hair into our ponytails. So we're just splitting the ponytail on top and then wrapping it underneath the bottom ponytail and tying it together. But you're not tying it with the ponytail that was below it. So you're still keeping two separate ponytails. So that's going to look like that when you get done. Then the key to making this hairstyle look really cute is you really have to puff out and pull apart the little ponytails. It almost looks like a braid, so you're pulling apart each of those sections and really pull at them. It's going to feel like you're almost pulling the ponytail out, but don't pull it so much that you do, but enough that it looks really loose. And then I'm just tying the bottom two ponytails together so they're not splitting apart and then pulling the last end piece. For my bangs, I'm just kind of curling them away from my face with my flat iron so they have a little bit more of a shape to them. And um, if you clipped and combined these with the top ponytail, you don't even have to worry about this step. Then I'm taking my Moroccan Oil um, Extra Strong Finish Hairspray, spraying the side, spraying frizzies and flyaways down, and then also spraying the back portion. And I just love how this looks. I saw it on Pinterest and just had to recreate it and give you guys a little inspiration and show you how to do it. So that's the finished hairstyle number one. Hairstyle number two is this really cute um, twisted and braided kind of down do similar to the concept of the last one where the hair is braided and kind of down your back, but a little bit different. So starting towards the back crown section of my hair, I'm twisting about an inch section on my head and then pulling the twist apart so it's looser and then bobby pinning that to my head. And you want to start towards the back crown section of your hair first because we're going to work from that. So then we're going to move towards the front of the hair. So for this next twist, I'm actually splitting the hair in half and um, kind of twisting those pieces together like that. And I even added a piece of hair to it. And then just really pulling that apart 
and then bobby pinning it to my head. So I'll show you again how I did that twist. Create a, grab a section of hair, split it in two, and then you're twisting those strands. And then I add one strand of hair to my hair that's down just to kind of lock it to my head. Pull the twist apart and then I bobby pin it to my head. And then the last section by my ear, I'm twisting, pulling apart, and then pinning. And then that's the finished twist on this side. So we're just going to repeat that on the other side. And then once you've finished all of your twists with the hair that's left down, you're gonna split into three separate sections. And you're gonna braid these three separate sections in a normal three strand braid. Once you're done braiding them, pull apart and fluff the braids so it looks a little bit more full. So we're just gonna pull all of the braids apart and just make them fuller so they're not so tight. And then pulling them all towards the back of the head, we're gonna now braid these three braids together. So it's almost like a braid-ception type style. Braid them all the way down and then tie that off with another elastic. And then I even pull apart that braid a little bit to loosen it, but I don't think I had that clip. So that is this finished hairstyle. It's a little messy on me because I have so many layers, but if you don't have layers, it would be a little bit neater. So the third style is working from the last hairstyle we just created. And it's so simple to go from the down do to this up do. So all you're gonna do is take the braid that we just braided and braided, and you're gonna twist it around into a bun and then pin it to your head. So it's super easy and it looks really intricate and complicated, but it took all of like 10 minutes and it's just braids upon braids and some twists thrown in there. I really love this hairstyle. I even did a little bit of a variation of it and wore it to work today and got a lot of compliments on it. And that is the finished updo. So this one is super easy. If you don't want to worry about your hair being down, this is a great go-to. And then the fourth hairstyle is a half up, half down, which is probably the most popular I see in the salon when girls come in to get their hair done for prom or homecoming. They usually want kind of a half up, half down style. So to start, I'm going to curl my hair with my one inch curling wand and just curl all of my hair to get some really pretty waves in there. Um, you don't have to use a wand. You can use a traditional curling iron, but I really love the softness the curling wand gives. And then I'm just spraying it with my Moroccan oil hairspray and then I'm finger combing the curls out just like so. And a trick if your prom, if you're getting ready early and your prom isn't until later, I would almost wait to finger curl the curls out until later in the day so they hold better for the night. And then I'm just spraying that with hairspray again. Then again I'm leaving my bangs out and I'm just taking the crown portion of my hair, pulling it back. And then I'm not tying it off, I'm just gonna create a three strand braid and then tie the ends off. And then once we tie the ends off, I'm gonna fluff and pull apart the braid again. It's the key to creating softness in these hairstyles is pulling the braids and twists apart. And then I'm just gonna twist this braid into a mini half bun. And I'm kind of pinning it as I twist it to make sure I lock it into place and it's nice and secure. And then once that is pinned and secured, I'm going to take a small portion of hair just in front of the hair we sectioned off and we're gonna do our little twist again. So you're gonna split it into two separate portions and twist those and add some hair to it. And then we're gonna pull and fluff it apart. And then we're gonna drape that just below the section we portioned off and then underneath the braided bun and then we're just gonna pin it underneath the braided bun like so. So it's almost kind of framing um, the hair we braided and portioned off. 
and then repeat that again on the other side, twist it, and then bobby pin it underneath the bun. Spray it one more time to make sure it holds, and that is the last and finished hairstyle. I love this one, it's so cute and so, so simple and really easy to do. So let me know down below in the comments what your favorite hairstyle is and if you try any of them or when you're going to prom and you can always send me pictures on Facebook and Instagram as well. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my latest videos. I'll see you guys next time, bye.